Okay, so I thought I'd give this a go for you. Um, I've watched a little video clip um, about cooking an egg. So I've made myself a little paper um, cooking pot. Like this, carefully construct a piece of A4 paper, nothing tricky about that. And then I'm going to, I'm going to cook an egg, I'm just going to try and boil some water. So I'm going to carefully pour a bit of water into that, hopefully it'll hold the water. Yes, it does, that's a good sign. Um, just going to put that down while I turn on my cooker. There we go, that's burning away. Very carefully, I use a skewer to hold this over it. Now hopefully what's going to happen is the paper's not going to burn like it's doing on the side. Oh, paper's been burning a bit on the outside. We'll see if that carries on catching. If it does, I'm going to abandon my experiment. Okay, a little bit of singeing going on, but not much else. Try and zoom in for you. And although this piece of paper is being held over the over the fire, a bit of singeing, but it's not burning through. And that's because as it's heating up the water, the water is carrying the heat energy away from the paper, preventing it from burning. And if I can get this water to boil. the top bit burns through. Okay. A bit worse for wear. You can see that where the water is in the container that paper hasn't burnt at all. I just test the water. Water is warming up nicely. It's hot enough for a cup of tea yet, but just goes to show that. You can in fact boil water, or at least heat water, over a fire using a piece of paper. 